While all at-war nations during World War II had some kind of rationing system, there were very stark differences between countries in how food was rationed and which foods were available, even between nations working closely together like the US and Britain. So how much food were folks actually allowed? British rations. Having engaged in war with Germany beginning in 1939, Britain was under more strain than the US and for longer. In Britain, the first foods to be rationed were bacon, butter, and sugar, beginning in 1940. In Britain, there were fewer grocery items like rice, canned fruits, and canned vegetables available through rationing because their supply was far more disrupted by the Germans. Each person in the UK was allotted portions of butter, lard, cheese, tea, meat, and sugar per week, but other items often had to be saved up for. One of the reasons that the diet was more plain was due to scientific research done by dietitians Dr. Elsie Widowson and R.A. McCants at the start of rationing, which showed that a simple diet of mainly potatoes, wholemeal bread, and cabbage would be enough to sustain even hard work during this time. Since only one egg was allowed per adult per week, to make a cake you'd have to save up a whole week's worth of eggs. The same goes for sugar. Something as common to us today as a birthday cake would have been an extremely special treat. In addition, there was brown bread freely available, but it was made with whole wheat and extra salt in order to make it more efficient to produce. There was no ration on the national loaf as it became known, but at the time it was introduced by the Ministry of Food, the loaves were only allowed to be sold in certain sizes and only at least one day after they were baked. All this meant that the British public only tasted stale whole wheat bread from 1942 to 1950, with few exceptions. Sliced white bread was illegal during this time. Victory gardens were encouraged on both sides of the pond, but if you were British, homegrown might have been the only vegetables you'd have access to. Rationing continued in the UK for many years, as it did in many countries after the end of World War II. War-torn cities across Europe and Asia struggled to supply their residents with food as the infrastructure and agriculture had to be completely rebuilt in some places. In England, some sweets were still rationed by 1950, and sugar was rationed until 1953. Bacon was rationed until 1954. American Rations American rationing began in early 1942, shortly after Pearl Harbor and the newly created Office of Price Administration oversaw price freezes and rationing. The first ration books for food became known as the Sugar Book, since it contained the basics. As more restrictions were added, additional books were printed. In the U.S., rations were more flexible and included a variety of canned goods. The foods were governed by a more complicated points system. The first items to be rationed were tires, cars, and typewriters. Sugar, coffee, meats, cheeses, and fats were next on the list. Americans were given 64 ration points for fresh foods like meat, and they were given 48 points for canned and bottled items per month, with more severe cutbacks for individual designations of coffee. In fact, the coffee allotment was thought by some to have been the hardest to deal with. There are some arguments that American eating habits and serving sizes changed very little during rationing, and that shortages were usually only temporary. Canned goods were worth between 1 and 15 points per can, with the big cans of juice on the upper end of the scale. This means that a family would have been able to afford a wide variety of canned goods, and in decent quantity. As part of the Lend-Lease program and other international agreements, England and the US were responsible for supplying large quantities of food to Germany, Japan, and parts of Europe, though England was much harder hit in that department than the US. The loss of crop fields to bombing, combined with a supply system that relied heavily on imports, meant that the UK had much more severe rationing and for much longer than the US. Sugar was rationed in the US until 1947, six years before sweets were freely available in Britain. 